Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, and I haven't made a video in a while. Um, also haven't uploaded a video in a while. I do have a few, like, on the backlog, but... I haven't been uploading or recording new stuff for a while. I got a little burnt out for a little bit there, and then I spent a week cuddling my girlfriend, so... <laughs> um, let's get back into the groove of things here. Um... With a simple sort of one, we're going to check out Death Road to Canada. Um, this is a pretty silly game. I think it's a good, relatively simple way to ease back into making videos again. Um, I've played a little bit of this, so I, I sort of know what to expect. Um, it's kind of like, uh, I'd call it maybe an affectionate parody of the Oregon Trail with zombies. That's kind of how I felt, how, how how I would describe it from what I remember. Um, but let's have another look and see what we think. <laughs> a game by Rocket Cat Games, and I couldn't read that. It was was very, very pixely. <laughs> Death Road to Canada by Mad Garden. Okay, that's not an ideal name, but alright. And Rocket Cat Games. Press A to start. Uh see what options we have. Uh, this game can be played multiplayer, as you can see. I'll be playing by myself, so... Uh, I guess I'll leave all this grain and stuff on for now. You can switch these off if you want, so... If you're, like, photosensitive or something, you might want to switch off some of these filters. Um... I'm gonna leave them on for the moment. Uh, I think they're probably not too severe, but... You know, I'm not, I'm not photosensitive, so I don't really know what, what you need to avoid and what you don't. Um, but yeah, that should be fine. I'll right, just go back. Uh, let's start. Okay, I'm playing as, uh, this person, I guess. I, I haven't started the game before, like, I've been in the middle of an existing game, so I don't really know how it begins the first time. Uh, I guess we want to go through this door. A to pick up weapons. There's a wrench. Uh, there's a baseball bat. That's a piece of wood. Oh, I'll have the wrench, I think. Uh, you press B to swap weapons if you want. I believe you have three slots, which is why I pressed B twice and it didn't give me anything. Wrench, none, rebar. Uh, rebar's good. Bathrooms may have meds. Bathrooms may have... Yep, I got one med. Or medical supplies, basically. Um, yeah, a big part of this is hunting for different supplies. So hopefully we can find some useful things. Hello! Fleming sees Drew, who is a real dink. Zombies have broken into my home, this is probably your fault, it certainly isn't mine. When the group found this zombie bunker, Drew called dibs on this big bedroom for anyone else. Um... Okay, I guess I'm playing as Fleming, and I guess this guy is Drew? Uh... Can I get his help? Fleming tries to lay on the charm and get Drew to help fight the zombies swarming in. Drew sweats visibly. I'm busy. I'm busy doing stuff. You go do it. Well, it was worth a try. This might have worked on someone that was less of a jerk. Fleming's wits revealed. Big smiley face. Fleming's attitude revealed. Big smiley face. So the way this works, um, every character has a bunch of different skills and you don't know what they are until you do something that requires those skills. So I now know this character's wits and attitude skills are pretty good. Big smiley face is a good skill. <laughs> um... So yeah, uh, if we go, let's try this way, maybe? Okay, we can pick up some chairs in this room if you want, and you can, yeah, you can throw them in various directions and it, it's fun. Choose your pals wisely. Fleming greets Georgette. I think we'll have to leave this safe house, looks like we got to rest for a while. We should try heading to Canada. Would you like me to travel with you? More people means more hands to loot and fight with. It also means more people to get in the way, eat up the food, and argue. I'll ask Georgette to join, I think. The group accepts Georgette to the team. Georgette joins the team. Onward to Canada. Uh, that's food, I think? Yeah, that's a can of food. It shows up with a little burger, which is nice. Good to, good to get a little burger sometimes. Okay, let's go this way. Is Georgette stuck in the other room? Do I need to move this thing? There we go, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, there are some zombies here. Uh, why button to attack? 
Uh, you can take damage very easily in this game, so you have to be very careful. And it says try to pace yourself because you'll get worn out by attacking with melee weapons. Always be looting. Got some more food. Got some bullets. We don't have any guns yet, but bullets are good to have anyway. Got some more bullets. Uh, some other kind of bullets. And some junk. Which is useless, because it's junk. <laughs> Watch out for huge swarms, running off and beats fighting. Yeah, we can't really take on that many zombies at once. We will have problems. And yeah, you can just run past them most of the time, so that's often a good idea. You can swap leaders, plus a team swap. Oh, I see. Okay. And yeah, you can control what the AI does, like decide what tactics you want them to use, which is handy. Um, when you're playing multiplayer, other players control the other people in your team. So I believe it's limited to four people in your team, for that exact reason. Uh, oh my goodness, there's a lot of zombies here. Let's just uh, run around them and go this way. Oh my goodness. Ladder leads to outside. Good luck out there. You found the light out of here. This will end the story for Fleming, but your story is about to begin. You will make your way to Canada, looting all the supplies you can on the way, only to build up your skills and your team to survive. End tutorial. Let's start the actual game. Start. Choose game option. Uh, I'm just gonna go new game for now. I believe it randomizes everything. So, game slot, uh, that one. Yeah, you can see it's randomly generated this character. Um, you can, like, design your own characters if you want. Oh, uh, that sounds good. Yeah, we'll go with Libby. Uh, Mega Buff. And Trait Berserk. Sounds good. Uh, Kathy Ultra Fit Paranoid. Sounds good. Game Mode. You can see there's a bunch of different modes here. I don't know if we need to unlock them or something. But maybe they're all available already. Uh, let's just start the game like that. Default settings. Okay, so... This is why I was thinking it's like Oregon Trail. This part of the game. <laughs> um, Libby hears rumors that Canada is a safe place, free of the threat of zombies. With nothing to gain from waiting around Florida, she decides to break the death road and travel north. Zombies get hit for extra damage if they are knocked down first. Some weapons have high knockdown. Let's hit the road. So yeah, basically as you're driving along, you get a bunch of random events that you have to react to and decide what you want to do. To start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby town. Sorry, nearby location. In order to survive the death row, you'll need to hoard as many supplies as you can. You'll also need to find ways to train and grow your team. Uh, let's go to Yolmart. There should be a lot of food there. The group spots an abandoned Yolmart off in the distance. It looks like it's been looted, but maybe there's some untouched loot inside. Your zombie forecast is swarm size mild, aggression sluggish, current time morning. So there will be zombies, but we should be able to get past them and grab the stuff we want. Uh, we can equip our characters with different stuff. Uh, uh, Libby has a metal pipe uh, and isn't healthy. Might need to heal her up or something if I can. Kathy has a broom. Oh, it's a mop. Kathy has a mop. We'll see how we go. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So yeah, we just drive our little car in, and let's boogie. Yeah, there's zombies everywhere, but we can just make our way past to get to the shop. Uh, which is over here. And you can see, yeah, there's more zombies inside, but we can have a look around and try to find some tasty, tasty food to add to our supplies. There's something on the ground there. What's that? That's bullets. Mm, bullets are still useful, I suppose. Uh, we also want medical supplies, and bullets, and I think there's some other things, but I can't remember. Uh, we'll see how we go. <laughs> What's that? Oh, medical supplies, yay! Medical supplies are very rare in this game, so you want to avoid taking hits as much as possible. Uh, okay. Got another food, there's something sparkling, it is more food. Uh, let's go now. Let's get past the zombies with the hearts on their shirts. Here is our car. Let's get back in. Um. Oh, whoops, I need to go to the side of the car. There we go. Let's 
Start the car. You guys have to mash the button there to get actually leave. Okay, so we got four food, we got one medical, and we got 24 pistol ammo. Six zombies destroyed. The campground the group sets up smells terrible. The source of the smell is a complete mystery. We're gonna have to endure the smell. The group endures the smell zone all night until passing out. They are not happy in the morning, but they are at least able to sleep. Libby's morale decreases from smiley face to, to lion face. Kathy's morale decreases in the same way. The group eats a decent meal. Lose food four. That's all the food we got at the Yolmart, but that's okay. We'll be alright. Maybe. This game is hard. <laughs> the group spots an infested city from the road, scouting it from afar. The group has to decide whether to fight under the noon sun for supplies. Um, your zombie forecast is swarm size mild, aggression calm, current time noon. From a distance, the group sees something of interest. Let's try the arcade. Uh, again, we don't have much to equip ourselves with just yet. Uh, Libby is always spouting pop culture quotes, in case you were wondering. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm aware that Oregon Trail didn't have quite as much action as this game does, but... Um, I still think there's a lot of overlap in how the two games work. This arcade machine seems to be working, it's not very clear how it can run without electricity. Libby considers taking a video game break while she is guarded. Libby plays an old arcade game named Polybius and really gets into it. Like all video games ever made, playing it increases your skills with guns. The critics were right. Before Libby knew it, two hours had passed. Libby's shooting increases from happy to really happy. The roll increases from blind face to happy. Well that was worth doing. <laughs> yeah, this is a very silly game. Um, that's the main appeal, really. I think, the, the humour of it. It's also, you know, a lot of fun to play, but... Oh yeah, by the way, you can use the left analog or the D-pad to move around. Uh, I've been using mostly the left analog, but the D-pad works fine too. It's a digital control, so it doesn't really matter what you use. Hello, oh, hang on. Um, maybe you can go in, like, more than eight directions. But it's at the same speed always, so it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, here's a bathroom. Anything in these toilets? It doesn't look like it. There's nothing in here. Alright. Um, well, we got some food from the vending machines, and we played that arcade game, so that's cool. Uh, let's visit this other building over here. Uh, whoa! Go away! Go away! You can see my face is getting red and sort of flashing. That's because I'm getting worn out from hitting stuff too much. You can't hit a whole lot of stuff. You get winded very quickly. Uh, this bathroom is nice. <sighs> we found some guns that would really help, but we haven't yet. Got some bullets. No guns yet though. Here's something. Oh, just junk. Nothing good. <laughs> yeah, the music's pretty cool. Uh, what's all this? Just garbage? Can go around it? No. Alright. Oh no, I have room snap. Uh, nothing there either. Let's get out of here. Come on, run, 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 run. That was kind of a waste of time. Uh... Yeah, you have to mash the button to start the car. I think it's like you're turning the key a couple of times because it's not a very reliable car. Kind of looking back to the future. Only this is a different thing. <laughs> I'll lose gas ten. It wouldn't be a bad idea to try to hunt for food when possible. A deer has stopped in the middle of the road. It stares at the car. Uh huh. I would feel bad if I ran it over. I'm gonna leave it alone. The deer quickly runs off. The quiet encounter lifts the group's spirits. Oh, 
Libby's morale increases from happy to very happy. Kathy's morale increases from somewhat happy to happy. <laughs> oh, good. Lost some more gas. Try to conserve your ammo. Attack only when you have to. Good advice, Kathy. Once an empty spot among the road looks as good for camping as any. The weather is clear and there's no sign of danger in any direction. Hmm. Hmm. The group sets up camping in the boring but safe looking spot. The group eats a decent meal. Lose food, four. Are we there yet? The group finds a candy bar on the side of the road. It's fun sized. Who gets to eat it? I'm gonna share it with everyone. Everyone learns a valuable lesson about sharing by trying to split an already tiny candy bar. Maybe. Sort of. Libby's morale decreases. Oh no. She's less happy. Kathy's loyalty revealed. Big smile. Kathy's morale increases to big smile. Yeah, you want to keep people's morale up, otherwise they'll ditch you. I better run into any more Mondays. Outside of Canada, most of society and civilization has been destroyed. You can still find people engaging in trade, with preserved food being the new currency. We have 11 food left. The group runs into a, tra into a trading camp. Uh, it might be worth trading for something. Let's have a look around. Uh, what have you got? The group meets a man holding a bazooka and a satchel over stuff with beeping minds. He looks so happy with ex his explosives. These weapons will not let you down, unless of course you blow yourself up with them. You have 11 food left. I don't think I want landmines. Thanks for the offer. Um, in here, there's an egg. Did I get the egg? There's a chicken. Quack! Yo, oh, yeah, we got the egg. It's, it's a weapon, I guess. <laughs> Hmm, there's a little doggy. Hello, little doggy. Woof. <laughs> Hello. This woman is decked out in sweatbands, limb warmers, and garish exercise clothes. Only the fittest will survive in this zombie-filled world. I can help you get fit fast. She's been continuously running in place this whole time. You have 11 food left. Uh, I can give her food to get training. Say it, don't spray it. Libby quips, say it, don't spray it to the fitness instructor. Her reaction is most a disappointment. Yeah, well, have fun getting eaten by zombies. She jogs backwards until she's out of sight. The group is so embarrassed by this that they are forced to leave the camp. Okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot, zombie Obama. The group takes a wrong turn down the country road and comes across a house. The house has a large mushroom, nearly as big as a person. There's a little gated area outside with some sort of exotic rodent grunting inside of it. A gnome steps out of the house and starts shrieking and pointing at you. Recruit him. Gnomey jumps onto, his, jumps onto his rodent thing. You have a zombie problem? That's gnome problem! The rodent rears back and whinnies dramatically. Gnomey points towards the horizon and winks. Gnomey's strength revealed. I think that's bad. Gnomey's attitude revealed. Very good. Medical revealed. Very good. Gnomey joins the team. Onward to Canada! <laughs> oh my goodness. I think I think that's a bad strength. If it looks too good to be true, it probably is. The car gets stuck in the ditch near a crappy dirt road. The group is close to getting the car out when a ro roaming horde draws, draws near. They must distract the zombies from getting too close. Siege alert! There's no escape! Horde size large. Current time, late afternoon. Siege length, 0.7 hours. Okay, so basically what happens here is you just have to survive until the timer runs out and then you're allowed to leave. Uh, it's pretty hard, generally. <laughs> uh, let me see. Yeah, you don't have a weapon, you just have an egg. So we'll see how we go. Hmm. I don't think I'm well equipped for this situation. Run, 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 run. Oh, there's a chicken. Oh, did, did, did the chicken hatch out of the egg and is it now attacking things? Because that's really cool. The little question mark means that they're going to attack soon, I believe. And then this little exclamation mark when they're about to hit. So you want to move when you see the question mark, basically. Oh! Did I just die? I think I just died. That's awkward. Oh, I can switch another character. Siege is over, you can now try to escape. I can switch over to playing as Libby instead because there's multiple characters here. Okay, let's get out of here. Exit. Uh, yes, let's hit the road. Okay, so, um, 
Yeah, Libby's dead. Oh my god. That's not good. Being prepared is one of the most important parts of survival. Group feels inspired from managing to survive that situation. They feel like they're getting the hang of this. Choose a reward for the group. Hmm. I think morale and random skill gain. See, um, if you pick one of the others, that's a guaranteed skill gain. Like, you know you'll get that skill, but you don't get morale boost. Every day is a great teacher as long as you don't get eaten. Kathy's morale increases. Big smile. Kathy's mechanical increases. We don't know what it is yet, but we know it's better than it was. Nomi's strength increases. From real bad to bad. Zombo point earned. Use ZP to unlock trades, trades, perks, and more on the title screen. Zombo points are uh, kind of like the diamonds in Crypt of the Necrodancer. They're there for doing like permanent upgrade sort of things between sessions because this game is a roguelike trail to Oregon with zombies. <laughs> oh my goodness. Gnomes invented punching, but we used it only for good. <laughs> a group camps out in a pro shop near a golf course. Nomi looks out the window and sees a large group of zombies approaching from the driving range. Uh, let's shoot golf balls at them. The group picks up a bunch of clubs and gets some buckets of golf balls. They start driving shots down the range as the zombies close in. It's hard work and the team mostly just ties themselves out. They are overwhelmed by the zombies. Kathy is hurt. Nomi is killed. Kathy's fitness revealed. Sad face. I'm bad at this game. Kathy gets a decent meal. Lose food too. Okay, so that's not good. We gotta have a plan in case the car breaks down. Uh, yeah, she doesn't have enough medical supplies to heal herself, by the looks of things. The car has completely run out of gas and coast to a stop. Car abandoned. Yeah, you have to get more gas for the car as well. Without a car, Kathy's a sitting duck for bandits. Kathy's ambushed by awkward bandits that apologize for the robbery. They are likely knew at this. They demand six food to pass safely. I expected this. Kathy foresaw an ambush as she set her plans up shortly before the bandits appeared. She runs immediately as the bandits start making demands. When the bandits chase her, they trip over branches and snares that were set on the path. Nice. After a hard day of looking for a car, Kathy finds a camping spot. During the night, she is attacked by ants and must leave without sleep. Kathy is hurt. Kathy eats a decent meal. Lose food, minus two. Kathy rolls up her sleeves and starts tending to her wounds. Kathy tries to help but laps, lacks enough medical supplies. I didn't actually get healed. Kathy is robbed by weak bandits. The bandits are of a kind that would normally not be a problem if Kathy had a car or wasn't tired from walking all day. The bandits nervously demand six food to pass safely. I'm gonna pay it. So to play it safe. She gives the bandits demands. Lose food, morale decrease. While wandering through a small town, Kathy discovers a newer hybrid car in front of a store. The battery is dead, but the store turns out to be a car parts store. Finding a working battery was easy. Hybrid cars have amazing gas mileage, but are fairly fragile. They're also very difficult to repair, so enjoy it while you can. We got a car. I mean, I, I one my, my one surviving character got a car. Uh, hmm. Let's go to the fancy house. The ominous labs sound dangerous. Kathy spies a house that looks expensive from the outside. There must be something in there worth checking out. His zombie forecast is swarm size, mild aggression, calm current time near noon. Okay, let me see. I have golf clubs. Can I use one as a weapon? I think I can. Okay, let's see how this goes. My health is really low, so I'm not optimistic. Um, okay, there's a lot of zombies in here. Um, hmm. Oh my goodness. Got some medical supplies, that's good. The safe is locked close and too sturdy to destroy. Good luck, the combination or key will be around somewhere. Okay, so I have to keep searching to figure out how to open the safe. Maybe. Oh, hang on. Can you? Oh, that's just bullets. Eh, bullets are still good. Run, 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 run! more bullets. I have a lot of bullets, so I haven't found any guns to use the bullets in, which is a bit silly. <laughs> uh, what's up here? Just one zomb? Oh, Pete, this is a combination? This piece of paper is a series of numbers on it. it. looks like a padlock or safe combination. Kathy picks it up. Aha! The solution to my puzzle. Kathy 
Sophie unlocks and opens the safe. Along with some now useless papers, it had... Ooh, I'm gonna say it had the auto shotgun. Because that sounds pretty useful. I'm not really sure how to use guns in this game. Oh, oops. Um, oops. You have died on the death road to Canada. Dang it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I can go to the unlock screen here and it'll let me pick up some stuff uh, using my Zombo points, but I don't really have very many. I think I just have the one, so I probably can't get much. Welcome to Death Road of Canada. Death Road Ilium's, uh, I guess that's the version number or something? Okay. Some kind of bird is shoving something. Attract challenges achieved. Squawk? Challenge chicken. Yeah, I've only got one Zombo point, so I probably can't do a whole lot here. At least not yet. Uh... Okay, let's let's go for another run. Let's go. Uh, new game. Uh, game slot one. Here we go. It's random other characters again. Valerie, perk, explorer, trade, harm, and defier. Kathy is the same as before. I randomized that too. Uh, that sounds good. Healthcare bandit. Yeah, that sounds useful. Valerie hears rumors that Canada is a safe place, free from the threat of zombies. With nothing to gain from wandering around Florida, waiting around Florida, she decides to blaze the death road and travel north. Some great melee weapons for high stat people. Knight sword, sturdy machete, fire axe, sledgehammer. Let's hit the road. To start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. Uh, but, but you've seen this already, but we have some different options, I think. Let's try going to the factory. The group finds a rundown factory, like most factories one would see nowadays. Sometimes people try to set up a safe hideout in a factory side closet, but this usually doesn't end well. The zombie forecast is swarm size sparse, aggression irritated, current time near noon. Uh, okay, so I have, what is that? A cane? My weapon is a cane. Alright. Uh, and you still have a mop. Let's watch out for better melee weapons. Um, What we can find that isn't just zombies everywhere What about through here? There's more zombies There's also a hammer And a pipe Take the pipe Thank you I cannot see a lot of stuff I might want to loot just yet Usually there's like a little sparkle when there's something you can loot, but I'm not seeing that. Oh, the mop's wet. That's a neat effect. Okay. Uh, let's try over here. Do, 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 do. I'm looking at stuff I can steal from this factory, cause society has crumbled, and property is not a thing anymore. Uh, I got some golf clubs in here. Uh, also, that's food. No, that's medicine. Also good. Okay, there's a lot of zombies coming in here. Um, go away. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go this way, let's try through this door over here If there's anything that might help us like some more food Okay, that sounds good to me, I'd like to have some food What's on that sign on the wall? Nothing Okay, we have to get back out of here, which may be a bit tricky Get out of the way, zombies we're going to Canada. We're taking the death road. Uh, here's a bathroom. Is there anything of use in the bathroom? Yeah, there was some petrol in that toilet. And that toilet. I don't know why. Is 
because I can't powered by like excrement. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a normal car, but maybe it's not. Do you want to leave this location? Yeah, let's go. We got six food, uh, two extra gas, uh, two more medical. We start with a hundred gas. That sounds pretty good. Hmm. The group camps out in a pro shop near the golf course. Gerali Gir looks out the window and sees a large group of zombies approaching from the driving range. Okay, we already tried shooting golf balls at the zombies. They didn't seem to work before, but maybe with our current stats it might be better. Let me take a quick look. What stats do we know about ourselves? Uh, I'm bad at shooting. Uh, contingency plans. Perk healthcare. Hmm. Uh, let's, let's just drive away. I reckon. We'll get tired, but it might be safer. The group decides to flee the golf course. They end up not finding another good place to sleep and drive for most of the night. They are very tired the next day. The group eats a decent meal. Lose food for them. Yeah, they're tired. The car is running fine, but an error code shows up on the dashboard. The group has no idea what's wrong, so they pull over to see what is up. Uh, let's carefully inspect it. That seems like the best of these choices. Valerie checks the car and finds the problem. It's just a loose gas cap. Easy to fix. Valerie's mechanical increases. Valerie's mechanical revealed frowny face. It must have been pretty bad to begin with. <laughs> I guess this is forever now. It sure feels like forever. The group drives through a city that hasn't been completely overrun. You should look for supplies to stock up for the journey. Your zombie forecast is swarm size mild, aggression sluggish, current time near noon. When driving into the city, the group spots something. Let's go for camp supplies. That sounds good. Uh, let me see... Uh, you can use that golf club, you should be fine. Um, yeah, we should be fine with what we've got, I think. Let's go. Plow through a couple of zombies on our way. Let's boogie. Okay, so there's the camp shop. Let's go. Okay, it's food. Uh, you go away. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's a bow. Interesting. I don't think there's a way to get arrows, so... Oh, okay. Okay, she's using it. Alright. Well, we have it now. Uh, there's a fishing rod. Is that a weapon? Uh... I guess it's a weapon. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I see, the, the bow has charges. Doesn't really make sense, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> okay, um... I guess that's all we're getting here. Can't see anything else to loot, so... Let's visit some of these other places, maybe? Uh, I don't think we can. Alright, well, we got a bit of food, and... We've got some cool weapons. Pasta! For it! Two total food for zombies destroyed. I'm making a good start. We should ditch the car and find a big zombie we can ride around on. <laughs> the group camps out in a big field. The group eats a decent meal. Lose food, four. Lose gas, ten. The group loots a McDowell's, which was the most popular restaurant in the United States before civilization fell. Even after all this time, the food here is still preserved due to all the chemicals. Warning. Burging is not great for your health, but won't kill you. Let's look for toys. The group finds one remaining kid's meal toy. It's a good one. Pukey ball found. Gross. Okay. We need more looting so we can do some more shooting. I agree, Jorali. Outside of Canada, most of society and civilization has been destroyed. You can find people gauging and trade with preserved food being the new currency. I have eight food left. Uh... It's not a lot. You, what do you want food? What do you want? There's a woman standing there in a stockpile of crates. The crates seem to contain a large amount of food and drink. They're looking for good weapons. I haven't got any crate weapons. Alright. What about you? The group finds a man claiming to be a traveling medicine salesman. He's carrying two suitcases of medical supplies. He has one medical item for each item of food. You have eight food left. No thanks. 
I brought this wizard over here. This guy looks like he might be a wizard. I'm a wizard. <laughs> I can foresee your future or reveal hidden truths with the power of the tarot. Uh, tarot reading costs five food. Uh, no thank you. I'm not interested. I don't, I don't really care if you're a fraud or not. I just don't really want what you're offering. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, not a whole lot here. I guess let's get that going. Yeah, I know zombies destroyed because there weren't any. We lost some more gas. We're gonna need to pick up some soon. The group stumbles across someone's camp hidden behind an empty town. There's a woman dressed in medieval clothing, like she's at a renaissance fair. She's sparring the air with a fencing foil. She stops slashing her sword eventually, but never puts her rapier down. When talking to her, she seems like a pretty normal person despite appearances. She sounds pretty cool to me. Recruit her. Charlie points her sword to the sky and belt belts out, No one can stop my blade. Ho ho ho. It's briefly unsettling after she was talking so normally. She then slashes the air in a grand fashion while laughing for about four straight minutes. Charlie's strength revealed. Line. Fitness revealed. Big smile. Join to the team. I'm with the Canada. Every day gets me a little closer to Canada. Sure does. The car gets stuck in the ditch near a crappy dirt road. The group is close to getting the car out when a roving horde draws near. Now they must distract the zombies from getting too close. Siege alert. There's no escape. Try to survive. Okay, let's see if we can do it this time. What is that? Oh, that's the Pukey Ball. Okay. I don't know if that's something I can use. Uh, what weapons do we all have? We've got a rapier. It's pretty cool. Uh, you got a fishing pole. I guess you'll make do. Uh, I'm going to swap these around. There we go. Uh, I'll put that one there. Okay, here we go. Unlike in the previous um, file, we all have full health. Like, we have, we didn't start damaged, which was what happened before. I don't know why that happened. That's weird. Harry in the post, on guard. <laughs> now for the coup de gras. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. She's so powerful. Or at least she's got all these cool catchphrases. Same thing as being powerful, right? Yeah, you basically want to keep outrunning them because they're very slow and we're much faster. Of course, I know this game does not have fast zombies. Siege is over, you can now try to escape. Okay, let's try to escape. Do you want to walk back to the road? Yes, let's hit the road. Uh, no, let's find Charlie. Where are you, Charlie? Oh, you're over there. Come on, let's go. 25 zombies destroyed. Heck yeah. Okay, Charlie took some damage, but we have plenty of medical supplies, so... I have a feeling that going to Canada is a waste of time. Charlie is fully healed by Charlie. Oh, nice. You still have a lot of medical, but that's okay. Okay, we get a reward. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Plus one all skills sounds pretty good, um, but that also sounds good. Every day is a great teacher as long as you don't get eaten. Morale, 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 strength, medical, shooting. Zombo point earned. On the title screen. <laughs> We're never going to make it all the way to Canada. Aww. Valerie, why'd you say that? You dropped everyone's morale. The group sets out camp outside a grocery store and notice another group has been following them and probably attempt to loot the place. Send one person in to loot? Uh... Hmm... The other members out stand guard outside for, outside for the looters as Charlie searches the grocery store. Charlie says there wasn't any food in there. The group eats a decent meal. Lose food, minus six. Hmm, we're running low on food and gas. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Uh... The group finds a car sitting alongside a country road. It's in great shape and seems like it's been recently driven. A cabin is visible a little to the north. Your zombie forecast is form size moderate aggression irritated current time late afternoon. Check out that car! It might have petrol in it, which is why I think it's a good idea. Take a look. Oh, uh, there's some petrol. Give me that. Where's the 
cabin. What's inside? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, run. Run, 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 run. There's so many of them. Where's this car? Maybe it's on this side. No? Is, is it this van that they were talking about? Because it doesn't look like a car to me, it looks like a van. This car looks like it's in really good condition, but where are the keys? They're inside the, the cabin, but the cabin is also full of zombies, so... Maybe we can lure them outside if we hang around a bit. Like, we, they'll, they'll come outside, right? Some of them will, anyway. Oh! Okay, someone just died. That's not good. Give me that screwdriver. Okay, we're getting bullets, we're getting, we're getting bullets, we're getting fire axes. I think the keys are under this big pile of zombies, so that's not a deal. Oh my goodness. What's that? Rusty machete. Oh, try to use it. Um, It's not going well. Maybe I got the keys and didn't realize? I don't know. I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. go great. Um, that didn't go great at all. We should have run, we should run these zombies down with the car. Yeah, we will. Charlie finds a new person, London. She is alone and wants to join the team. L London? Is it just London? Great shot with a gun. She refuses to prove she's a good shot because her finger hurts right now. Suspicious. <laughs> yeah, I'll let her in. Geraldine accepts London to the team. London joins the team. Onward to Canada. Well, she has bad morale. The car has completely run out of gas and coasted to a stop. Car abandoned. Yeah, that was going to happen. While walking, London doesn't notice a hole in her backpack. By the time she realizes this, there have been hours of opportunity for supplies to fall through. We lose four food, four medical, twenty pistol ammo, and morale goes down. Rifle. Oh no, we lost a whole bunch of stuff. After an entire day of walking, the group finds a safe camping spot. The group is very hungry and they eat an extra meal. Lose shotgun ammo four? Did, did we eat the shotgun ammo? What? I'm confused. The group is ambushed while crossing a rickety bridge over a river. The bandits demand a toll to cross. They want all your extra gas and half your ammo of medical supplies. Uh, I don't think I have any of those things. Charlie promises the bandits that if she doesn't let go, she will come back and burn the bridge down. The bandits are intimidated at the thought of losing their livelihood, so they let the group pass. When she crosses the bridge, she lights it on fire. <laughs> oh my god, Geraldy. Geraldy's morale increases from angry face to sad face. While wandering through a small town, London discovers a newer hybrid car. There we go, we got a hybrid car again. Same as before. The group finds a radio station. The broadcasting equipment is hooked up to a gas generator with a small amount of fuel off. It's enough power to get out one message to anyone that may hear it. Who should send out the message? Uh, hmm. Hmm. I don't think, I think siphoning it's a better move, honestly, than sending out a message. The group siphons the gas out of the generator. There wasn't much left, but every little bit helps. The radio station's power shuts down. Like, what are we going to tell people anyway? The group finds a cabin in the woods with no zombies inside. It has a wood stove in it, but no wood. The group finds there is no food left at all. The spare creeps in. Go out and chop wood? Uh... Well, they're both 
in real bad moods. Uh, you. Fairly chops a bunch of wood and gets the wood stove going before passing out from exhaustion to be very tired tomorrow. Strength increases, the fire feels great, morale increases. I can see myself getting into hockey. Bandits appear, all wearing sweatbands and they're all super buff, even their dog. They demand protein powder. They will also accept all of your extra gas and half of your ammo and medical supplies. Can I just keep driving? Pose off. London challenges the bandits to a pose off. By some strange twist of fate, she somehow wins the pose off to a little known loophole in the bodybuilding judge's rule book. The bandits are pretty angry about this, but their hands are tied by the rules. London's strength increases, morale increases, morale increases, strength revealed, sad face. It couldn't hurt to team up with even more survivors. With more survivors, sorry. It has started to rain over this city. The zombies become more aggressive in response for reasons that have not been explained. The zombie forecast is swarm size, moderate, aggression, irritated, current time, morning. Uh, I guess I'll go to the gym. I, I want to find food. I don't really know where to find that. Let's try the gym. Uh, okay, you... Uh, you can keep that pistol, but I'm going to give you a melee weapon as well, just so you've got something to hit things with if you need it. Uh, I'm going to unequip that bow because it's not helping me. And I'm gonna equip a golf club. I'll put the screwdriver in there as well, but golf club is a primary. Probably gonna do. There we go. Let's go, Gigi. Hello, zombie. Got some food from that. Is that an ottoman? Or a garbage can? I hope it's an ottoman. I don't know why there would be food in on but I prefer to get that than food from the garbage. <laughs> is that a printer? Why is there a printer next to that? <laughs> That's weird. Got some food. I think once I die on this run, which will probably happen soon because I'm running out of food and I'm pretty bad at this, um, I might take a look at the character generation thing because I think it's pretty cool, but I haven't really looked at it yet apart from just sitting around and... Uh, let's try this house, there are more zombies in here. Got some medical supplies. Also food inside a clock, I don't know why. Also bullets in that cabinet, that sort of makes sense. This chest has bullets too. Watch out for the zombies, they will hurt you. Do not let them bite your flesh. <laughs> I don't know. What did it do? Oh, there's lots of food in here. Also lots of zombies there. Bridge, ooh, lots of food, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's try to get out of here now. I think we've made a good profit. Come on, we've got to survive. Come on, London, we can do it. Let's get into the car. Let's go. Okay, we got 13 food, which is a great improvement on zero. Uh, we got a bit more gas, we got a bit more medical, we got... We didn't have a lot of ammo, we now have a decent amount. That's cool. That went well. Uh, group sets up camp late. On the nearby highway is a bunch of abandoned cars. They're broken, but many should have a little bit of gas. Would you like to send someone to siphon out the gas? Uh, yes, but do any of them have skill with that sort of thing? Hmm... Uh, let's try sending London because she's not tired. London siphons the gas, but actually swallows a bit and gets really, really sick that night instead of sleeping. Oh no! I'm sorry, London. <sighs> At least a decent meal helped. You got a good attitude, even though your morale is real bad. You should go shoot something. I agree. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Uh, grocery store. 
Zombies wander in size of guarding the remaining food. Russian sluggish. Current time near noon. Swarm size moderate. We should be fine. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're well equipped. Let's go. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Do, do, do. Let's boogie. Do, 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 do. There are zombies all over the place, but we're just going to shop. Take all the food. We are hungry, and there's a floating skull over there, that's scary. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, there's medicine? Oh no, it's food. It's like medicine, like little pill bottles or whatever. Why is there a floating skull, my friend? Oh, it's a zombo point, okay. Cool, well I have a zombo point from that, that's cool. I thought it was something evil, but no, you just pick it up and it's a zombo point. We got a bit more food to put in our bellies And we threw that skelly out of the way Also here is a storeroom It's got lots of food Hopefully I can reach it There we go Also bullets ah! Oh, I see her current weapon broke and she replaced it before Now it worked Oh god, oh god, we're being spawned Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no! Get out of here! This game is hard. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I keep killing people by accident. I mean, I get them killed by zombies, it's a bit different, but it's somewhat good. It's like, it's not deliberate. And it's also not me doing the killing. It's but yeah, I guess I'm gonna leave. Oh dear. Get in that car. Start the car and let's get going. Okay, I'm just holding down the button instead of mashing it. That seems to work. I'm not quite sure what the rules are. Hey, if you're gonna take so long to shoot something, give me some of your ammo. Who are you talking to? Australian an abandoned gym. They're on a throne of old protein powder jars and, a, and sits on there on a throne of old protein powder jars. It's a bronzed bodybuilder. I am the last bodybuilder. Yeah! He flexes and grunts in a mournful manner. Let's ask for strength tips. I think my strength is pretty bad, right? Yeah. The last bodybuilder gives Girelli some excellent tips on getting swallowed up during the post-apocalypse. The advice is so good that a pump is felt immediately, no working out required. Strength increases from real bad to just kind of bad. Rain starts pouring down, it's hard to see, and the shapes of zombies lurk right on the edge of the darkness. Uh, okay, I think we need some sleep, so let's seek shelter in a house. Um, that was a bad idea. Massive horde, okay. Uh, hmm. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's not good. I have made an error in judgment. This was a mistake. Being in sword siege by zombies from all sides. Oh no. Is not good, and I am not a fan. Need my golf club. Oh no, they keep on coming through the door, and I can't stop them. Oh no, this is bad. I am gonna die. Yeah, I'm getting. Yeah, yeah, I told you. <sighs> I have died on the death road to Canada. Okay, let's uh, let's just have a look at the character generation system. Uh, we've looked at the base game a decent amount. I think there are a few more Zombo points now, maybe? I'm not sure. Okay, I think I go into... no, uh, here we are. Custom characters, here we go. Alright, so let's have a look. The name, you can just type in anything you want. Uh, Put me in. Danny, there we go. Uh, perk. Um, hmm. 
I think I haven't unlocked all the perks I need yet because I'm not seeing things that sound like me. Oh yeah, I can see some of them are locked. I'm not a Pathfinder. None of these sound a lot like me. Um, maybe mechanic? I don't know. Not necessarily a competent mechanic. Yeah, I'll go with that. Uh, Trait. Oh, there's lots of options. Uh, nurturing? I think nurturing. Yeah, it sounds like me. There we go. Uh, you can change all the different heads. Uh, you can have the different faces here. Uh, I think... Oh, that's hair, yeah. Okay. Extra, just like your beard and stuff. I don't remember those. There we go. I'm not sure there's actually gender options. Oh, yeah, there are. Right, it's kind of weird. The genders are scrolling thing, it doesn't show you any actual genders. There seem to only be two options, but I, we can just assume there are more. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't really know what looks like me. But yeah, you get the idea. You can make up your characters like this and give them all different different looks and different trays and then you can save your character into a slot like this. That doesn't really look like me, but you, I'm just demonstrating. <laughs> uh, let's go back. And then when you go into the game normally, you can actually go load and then pick the slot you want to play. And then that makes it your character. Yeah, cool. I'll probably play with that some more later. Um, I believe one of the options in game mode... Let me see. This one. Most road recruits you meet are now familiar characters instead of random. There's a character you created and save. Make your friends and family and will show up in the game. So that mode means basically, um, rather than randomly generating the characters you meet on the road, they are taken from the list of characters you already generated. So you can see your friends and stuff. It's cool. Uh, then there's rare characters modes, special abilities. Yeah, these ones are locked. I'm guessing I need to beat the game. Yeah. Uh, quick nine-day driving mode. Short trip to heck. Long winding mode. A long mode? Oh, that sounds hard. And this one. A tougher challenge. Gateway to harder modes. Oh, are there more. Oh my, there are more. Oh my goodness, look at them all. There is a lot to this game, as you can see. Um, anyway, um, I think that's probably about it for this video. Uh, that's Death Road to Canada, a game I'm looking forward to playing more of and having fun with, and it looks cool. <laughs> um, and yeah, it does have a multiplayer aspect. Um, I didn't really demonstrate that, but... Basically, any of your four party members can be controlled by any of the four players, and then when you're on the menus and stuff, you each have a cursor that lets you select what options you want. Uh, it's not like a voting system, it's just you have multiple cursors, and it's whoever picks the selection gets it. It's a little silly, but you know it works. Anyway, yeah. Uh, that's Death Road to Canada. It's a game about going on the Death Road to Canada. Oh, I see, that's weird. Um, I press Y to make it go up? Yeah. How do I reset it to default? It only goes back in hundreds of 10, as far as I can tell. Uh, um, <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Hmm. Those controls are a little weird. Yeah, you can't just hold down the button or whatever, which is what I thought you could do. Hmm. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! I'm just leaving it going for a little bit longer just so I didn't accidentally cut it off earlier than I intend to because I've had problems with that. Um, I might just duck into the unlocks and have a quick look around. Why is there no music? It should have come back. Unlocks or unks for short. Witness the magic of Chivos. Wait, I meant to say unlocks. Zombo points. 3 out of 10. Unlocks left 11. I'm guessing I need, like, Oh, no, I can actually buy some of these. Okay. Sound sleeper. I'm assuming a sound sleeper, like, gets rest regardless of the situation. Like, if it's smelly or whatever, it doesn't affect them. Uh, I guess I can unlock some things. Neat. Also, I could push this bed around. 
Yeah, I need to change my own character. That doesn't look like me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Gotta work on that. Um. Cool. 